Hi, welcome back to the system. As you can see in my choice of wallpapers, it is almost holiday for me, which means full-time Arclinux. I've just made a tutorial about um, how to install Arch Linux with BIOS and then install Deepin Desktop. So that's this article in this video here. And you can find it in here in the phase two in the all-in-one because it's an all-in-one means starting with an ISO and going all the way till you have a desktop. That's the thing. Now the all in all the way can be extended somehow if you want to. The Archway installation is a vanilla Arch Linux installation. It starts with archlinux.org and you download here um, the ISO. We've done a torrent and you build everything up. So we went to five and ch uh, chose to install with BIOS. Then we went to article number six. So the next step, the next step, we went through all these motions. And in the seventh one, you choose whatever you want. In, want. in the meantime, Qtile is present if we do a reload. And we saw that there was a missing Q tile here. So that's there in the meantime. So you choose whatever you like. We've chosen Deeping. And if you go to Deeping, you'll, there is an explanation how to install Deeping and so on. But we've also added now the link. We have a complete complete uh, tutorial from A to Z, which we call all in one, right? And you can follow that link and you are here. Now you can go a little bit further and it's also explained in here. It says you can season with Arco spices. So we're gonna keep the same word choice. Um, <clears throat> if you want, if you start with a vanilla Arch Linux installation, you can get the stuff in from Arco Linux because you're missing aliases, you're missing termite themes, you're missing a lot of things. A lot of energy went in all these configurations and you can get them, okay? So that's the point of this video, how to extend Arch Linux vanilla, so we have a version more like Arco Linux. All right, then we go to a shortcut. Super F7 is most the fastest way to boot up Arch Linux. And of course, why wouldn't it? I've switched the screens in the meantime. And Control F, let's boot this up. Log in. And then we need to go to, well, or you know it by heart, or you need to go to um, our website, right? So, browsers are not installed yet. So, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Luckily for me, I know out of my head what I need to type. Ctrl Alt T. We're going to git clone https double point github.com. This is Arclinux D. In D, Arclinux D, you're going to get scripts, change scripts, add scripts, add packages, delete packages. That's the script thing. And we call it Arco Deeping, of course. And git is not installed. sudo pacman minus s git. Let's install that. All right, let's install it. Move one back up. So we have now a folder. We go inside Arco Deeping, and this is what you get. Um, what did I do? All right. Okay, fine. So we have the possibility to take a look at all these scripts one by one and decide if you want to install them, yes or no. That's the idea. 80% of the work is done. You take a look at it and change whatever you like. That browser, not that editor, not yes LibreOffice, no not LibreOffice, etc. But what you do need to do on Arch Linux is become part of Arco Linux uh, family, let's say, if you want to get our scripts and if you want to get our elements in the easy way. So 
So inside the folder Arch Way, so that's just for the guys who are in phase five, have an Arch Linux, Linux installation, but then they say, oh, I would like to have a termites, and I would like to have these themes, and I would like to have this and that. It's all on the, the internet, it's all on GitHub. You can start copy pasting file by file, or you are going to install packages, which is of course much easier. The thing is, I need to run this number 10. So you see if you need to run it or not, but I need to do that, okay? If I don't do that, number 20 is never gonna load up. It's never gonna work. So I have to do this. This number 20 is going to check out all the keys from all the people. And one of the things I've heard already from people is I thought it was broken. I thought it, it hang. So I stopped everything. No, you have to wait and wait and wait and just walk away, go get a coffee and wait and everything it works. In this case, in this video, it was super fast. In other videos, it was slow. It all depends on the key server and the load at that point in time. But that's done right now. So just trust the machine and let it do its work. At this point in time, let's maybe open up the documents. So it's probably gonna be this button then. And then go to computers and LAN. Nope, we're gonna go to the ETC pacman.conf which is this guy I don't know if I can open it yeah I can open it I wonder what this actually is about that's the deeping editor okay so in here there's no mention at all of article links right it's normal but once we run this one number 30 it's going to add these elements to that's Pacman, and suddenly you see here that there are repos added. There are elements that we did not have prior to this running this thing. So if we open it up again, I think that's this one. Files have changed. Reload, yes, please. And scroll down, and yes, indeed, you would you will recognize if you're an Ar Arco Linux user, then you will recognize these things. So basically, we're good to go. We're good to go. In the same script, we also get our Arco Linux mirror list in. So that's done as well. And I believe there was one more. Yeah, two more. So the number 40 is for applications that we use in um, the bash RC, like hardware info is in here, reflector is in here. When we type mirror, we actually use reflector when we have this YouTube download uh, shortcuts, then we use that as well. So it, these things come in. Last one is the auto login. Um, in this case, is that necessary? Because this is not really Lightium. So I have to think about that. In the meantime, let's um, install some more stuff like for instance what people ask is the bash rc where's the bash rc well bash rc is here in the home control h here you have a bash rc but it's not our bash rc it's very little in it all right so if you want to get our stuff minus s now you can get all our packages which is quite a bit already these days so let's do that again. Let's clear and then ask sudo pacman minus s Arco Linux. These are all the packages we have and that bunch is just wallpapers. So you can forget about all these wallpapers to the right column here. All the rest you have to think about. Do I need this? Do I need that? What's coming when I install this? What do I need it? Etc. So if we want to install the bash RC, that's going to be in our root package and it's going to be installed in etc scale. It's in there, which means, by the way, there's already a tutorial made about this in other, in other videos, so that's okay. But quickly making it again, right? So the system disk 
in the etc scale you have just installed some stuff some stuff control h and here is your bash rc but that, that's the one that's not from us this is the one that's from us the bash rc latest so these are all the elements you would like or don't like it's the one coming from Arch Linux, right so control c from in here and then we can copy paste it over to bash or see this one delete control find uh, f control f uh, sorry control c control v control s saved Six, saved successfully says super x is not working um, but we can of course log out this way reboot is too long log out Control alt t update is the thing we type all the time and there you go you can update your system now and there is an update incredible pksy way it's not gonna work why the command y is not installed command not found mm. then well we don't have a browser here but everything is already explained and it would take us too far but let me show you everything is already available phase 5 install an AOR helper which is yay which is Ryzen so download yay bin installing in a desktop environment we show you how to do it installing a terminal and uh, all kinds of informations how to actually get cracking and have Yabin on your Arch Linux system. All right, so that's uh, that for me. I mean, this is what we call spicing up your system, your vanilla Arch Linux. Any spices out there, you can get them. You can think about what to get and what not to get. It's all in here. Um, there is, for instance, the config deeping I see. One thing I would like to try out config deeping will probably give you already lots of stuff but scale and then a reboot so I copy pasted everything over and then let's see how it will affect oops so what am I doing how it will affect uh, our system so used to XFCE log out yep and log back in and will that change some stuff already maybe maybe i should reboot some of the elements should be changing it all depends what you have of course control h you have to control h here so the config is filled with lots of stuff variety but we did not install variety deeping stuff is in here but probably lots of software is not installed yet some font configuration the looks and but the, f the theming is not there the, the icons are not there neofetch is here but not my or our Arch Linux neofetch um, so a lot of things are still missing and that's okay that's that's just the point and uh, th those are all pieces of a puzzle this is an ideal way to figure out what pieces of the puzzle or what pieces of our Lego sets we have and install them one by one gradually and have a look what's gonna change all right have fun spicing up your arch linux system